welcome to Why Paint and Pastels. I'm Yvonne and I'm going to be sharing some of my art adventures with you. I'm hoping to do art together, review materials, and explore techniques. Today we're going to find out if using Liquitex Clear Gesso really makes a difference and we're going to do that by doing another Griffin drawing. One of the uses of mediums is to give paper a texture that your inks, pastels, and charcoals can adhere to. It will allow your pastel to grab onto the surface of the paper, as opposed to if you're using paper without the medium. Without advanced preparation, the pastel does not exactly grab onto the surface of the paper. Covering the paper gives the paper a sandpaper-esque like quality. Different gradations of roughness can be achieved by using mediums from different manufacturers or by grinding sand and floating that in various mediums, but that's a whole other video. This is just a comparison between treated paper and untreated paper, and I hope you enjoy it. And in doing so, we're going to start by cutting paper from a large paper roll. Please like, subscribe and ring the bell so you get all of the videos when they're uploaded to this channel. all the way down the paper. gesso and see if it's going to work for us. I would like to clarify up front that Liquitex is not a sponsor and that this video is for experimenting and sharing the results of what we do in the video.
to be perfect, but we have to make sure we have at least an even coat. You can't see it on camera, but the way to make sure is to keep checking with the light, and when the light shines on a gloss, when it glistens, it's wet, and you, make sure, you can make sure that the whole thing's covered. Okay, so now we just have to wait and see how it dries. Hi, so it's a great Saturday afternoon and we're going to follow up on the subject of the Fabriano paper. So our Fabriano paper has dried and we're going to do an experiment today to decide which we like better and kind of prove to ourselves that using the clear gesso really makes a difference. I had previously started this painting and it's on regular multimedia paper by Strathmore. And it has no treatment. The granularity appears on the paper and how difficult it was to blend and get a smooth texture with the painting. I find the colors beautiful and the whole thing beautiful, but I am hoping to have a totally different effect with this new textured paper. And I think it'll hold the pastels better. I think we'll be able to blend better. You can truly see how the colors are laying on this paper. So now let's get the other paper together and start applying the colors and mixing them and see how they interact and how they blend. There's our Fabriano paper and it's being taped to the board and I've laid out what we're going to do with it. So today we're going to be pulling from an array of uh, pastels. These are hard pastels from Comte de Paris. These are the soft pastels from Comte de Paris in, that are currently being sold on the market. These are my favorites, uh, Comte de Paris from, I don't know, the 60s, 70s, from the early 70s. And honestly, they're a slightly different texture from the hard or the soft that are currently being sold. They're somewhere in between and they're all just lovely. And these are a few old Rembrandts and inexpensive artist loft, but sometimes you wouldn't, you just want a certain color and some blicks. Uh, so there's an array. As you can see, this treatment allows the color to adhere to the paper as opposed to floating on top like untreated paper.
Wow, we can see already the depth of the color that grabs the paper. together that there is a significant difference when using the clear gesso. It is absolutely worth preparing your paper in advance. I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you that these prints are available at deviantart.com 
under Kid Squid Studios. Prints of all sizes as well as all kinds of cool stuff are available there at deviantart.com. Materials and tools used in this video are also listed below. With the help of Kid Squid Studios, there will be more videos to come right here at Why Paint and Pastels. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. You can also subscribe to our other channels in the link below.